pleasure to participate in this meeting with people so dedicated to discovering the truth. Unfortunately, I feel that we are still far from it. From the outset, I state that I'm not politically affiliated. I'm a physician and a civic activist concerned about the future of humanity and uh, of my children. During this period, we have all noticed that similar actions have been taken in most countries and that politicians have become overly involved in the medical issue. Gross medical fraud has been hard to tolerate by those accustomed to thinking. These are evidence that uh, there was a global plan and that other objectives that then people's health were pursued. In 2021, at the G7 summit, Politicians decided that by the end of 2022, the entire population of the planet would be injected with so-called vaccines, although these products were experimental with clinical trials to be completed in 2023-2024. What do they contain? Some researchers have evidence that they do not even contain mRNA, but only nanotechnology. What is the real purpose of these products, knowing from the start that they, uh, they will, be, will not work and uh, will be harmful? Why has everything been so militarized, secretive, and censored? In this image posted on uh, the Global Initiative on Sharing All Influenza Data website, we can see an enormous growing number of SARS-CoV-2 variants, which is suggestive of a continued pandemic, despite the vaccination of 70% of the world's population. A perpetual pa pandemic represents, as Klaus Schwab cynically states, an opportunity to the implementation of the Great Reset. There are many opinions about the causative factor of COVID, with some believing that it is not determined by a virus, but by toxic substances, nanotechnology dispersed in the air, water, electromagnetic radiation, or a combination of all of this. Even if we accept the official version that the disease were triggered by a virus, we now have plenty of evidence that the authorities acted wrongly, even premeditatedly wrongly, thus, as early as 2014, it was known that coronaviruses are neurotropic viruses and that olfactory nerve endings can be a route of entry into the brain. However, it has been recommended to sample the PCR test deeply from the nasopharynx, an area close to these olfactory nerve endings. These actions most uh, likely premeditated are intended to facilitate the achievement of the goals of the fourth industrial revolution. This includes the creation of the brain-computer interface, changes in the human genome, and the creation of transhumans. The plan is known and implemented with the participation of authorities, including the Romanian ones. As proof in an interview in 2021, the, mini Ro the Romanian Minister of Health Mr. Alexandru Rafila, professor of microbiology, discussed about neurological rights. Unfortunately, citizens were not asked if we agree with the objectives of the Fourth Revolution, Fourth Industrial Revolution and the Great Reset. European Union website, such as Graphene Flagship, proudly present a man of the future with brain-computer interface and graphene-based nanosensor in his body. Although these things are officially exposed, discussion on these topics are considered conspiracies. Noticing the simultaneity, similarity, lack of logic and aggressiveness of the implementation of pandemic measures in different countries, as well as the installation of 5G technology, without informing people, overriding the opposition of scientists and civic activists, made me pay more attention to what was going on around me. The existence of a part of a media still free, my habit of reading med medical and non-medical articles, the emergence of a new communication channel, channels like Telegram, but also my participation in protests, 
helped me to inform myself and to confirm a lot of my suspicions. One of my observations was that the sediment in rainwater is 100% magnetizable, which was unlikely to be a natural phenomenon. Knowing the big picture, the intention to launch a number, uh, an enormous number of satellites around the Earth to create 15 mini cities based on the Internet of Bodies and Things, observing the reality of vaccinated people's MAC address, and uh, the enormous amount of information about nanotechnology, smart dust, I assumed this finding of, my, of mine was worth interest, investigating. From a UN document, I learned that the number of satellites launched has grown and, do, and will grow exponentially. If in 2018, about five, 500 satellites were launched, and in 2022, about 2,500 satellites, it is estimated that in 2029, there will be about 1.8 million, million satellites around the Earth. Who and when asked us for permission to install these satellites? In 2017, an UNICEF paper warned about the danger of magnetite containing particles smaller than 2.5 microns in the air. These particles can enter the children's brain via two pathways, via the olfactory nerve causing inflammation in the hippocampus and prefrontal lobe, and via bloodstream from where by crossing the blood brain barrier, they reach the brainstem. The paper warns of, new, of degenerative neurological disease that can be triggered by these particles. In 2019, the European Environment Agency warned of uh, the involvement of particles below 2.5 microns in the generation of neurological, inflammatory, pulmonary, cardiovascular, reproductive disease, cancers, and inflammation of the eyes, nose, and throat. This uh, agency also mentioned studies on the contamination of 2.5 micron particles with the SARS-CoV-2 virus and the possible role of these particles in the spread of the virus. If such a finding was made, why was the possibility of intentional dispersal of such contaminated particles not considered? Why did the authorities not investigate this matter of national security? In addition, although it was it has long been known that magnetite in micron airborne particles can interact with electromagnetic radiation of 5G technology. The authorities have readily approved the implementation of this technology. Articles like this one, published as far, as far back as 2016, warn of the harmful effect of magnetite entering the brain via the olfactory nerves. It causes neurodegenerative disease by, react by generating reactive oxygen species or by interacting, interacting with magnetic fields. However, specialists have, uh, so-called specialists, have imposed PCR tests with nasopharyngeal sampling, which are traumatic for nasal mucosa and favor the penetration of viruses and the micrometric particles into the brain. In addition, the concurrent installation of 5G technology was a coincidence too obvious to ignore. Not even the Romanian specialist's warning about the possible harmful effect on the brain of the interaction of 3.5 gigahertz electromagnetic radiation with magnetite prevented the Romanian authorities from legislating this technology. This article is relevant in this regard. The prefrontal lobe is known to be a key area involved in memory, behavior, and executive functions such as decision-making, judgment, problem-solving, planning. In the last three years, I think we have all noticed changes in people's behavior that suggest damage to this cortical area. During this period, I have addressed a series of, a series of questions to the President of Romania, head of the Supreme Council of National Defense. Among them, I mentioned the following. Have tests been carried for carried out for chemicals that may cause symptoms similar to those of COVID disease? Has the SARS-CoV-2 virus, virus been isolated in any Romanian laboratories? His reply did not come immediately, but several months later, after the petition has, had been resubmitted, 
stating that the information requested was not related to the President's work. I also asked several authorities to carry out graphene and metal determination in the dust, noting that it is magnetic, but they did not want to cooperate. Since public institutions were not interested in doing this investigation, I managed to find a laboratory willing to do se uh, semi-quantitative analysi analysis of uh, filtered rainwater. Significant amounts of aluminum, iron, copper, zinc, barium, strontium, titanium, nickel, calcium, a small amount of lithium, arsenic, lead, beryllium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, bismuth, indium, tungsten, neptunium, cobalt, and cerium were found. These are uh, the results. Next, I decided to analyze the sediment in the rainwater by electron microscopy. Using scanning transmission electron microscopy and energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy. It was difficult to get this investigation, but with the help of some good people, also worried about the dystopian future that is looming, I succeeded. We can do a lot if we stick together. Here, the electron microscopy shows the predominance of filaments along with, with a few particles. The X analysis shows the presence of carbon, oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, magnesium, calcium. Here are other electron microscopy images showing this composition. Given the atomic composition, I deduced that there may, may be silicon carbide filaments and particles which functionalized with metals can become magnetizable. These are studies, there are studies showing that silicon carbide and silicon are used to make semiconductors, sensors, smart dust, and they can self-assemble. My results have been confirmed in other parts of the world. Thanks to Dr. Anna Mihalcea, they were sent to Mr. Clifford Carnicom of the Carnicom Institute. He has observed the presence of the same metals in rainwater in the U.S. since 1998 and said, urban areas will have, will have some expected pollution, but never anything justified with these metals, such as aluminum, iron, calcium, silicon, magnesium. However, none of these findings are any surprise to me. I have found them in my own work years ago. Mr. Carnicorm also noted as early as 2015 the presence of filaments in the rainwater sediment. Taking all this information into account, I have, to, I have come to the set conclusion that people's free will has long been violated. We have not given our consent to the dispersal of these particles. If in the case of so-called vaccines, a vitiated consent was obtained, surely no one said yes to for these particles to get into the air. The presence of um, these uh, filaments in rainwater is highly susp suspicious, but it is explainable if we understand that it is all part of a plan. However, I do not understand the lack of interest of Romanian foreign researchers, researchers who should have been more involved in investigating this important problem because we all live in the same vitiated environment. The fact that it was, it, what is happening now has been programmed for a long time is also supported by this NASA document from 2021 entitled Future Strategic Issue, uh, Future Warfare Circa 2025, which mentions the use of smart dust, nanosensors, aerosolized, micron-sized, mechanized dust, which once inhaled into the lungs, can cause various pathologies. I also state that this new way, it also states that these new weapons are considered legal because, because they are not regulated. And we know that uh, the use of nanotechnology is not well regulated. As a conclusion, conclusion to this data, Dr. Anna Mihalcea commented, geoengineering is a crisis of premeditation, no legal solutions are found. So that uh, guilty pay. What uh, are we actually waiting for? New elections? 
They are important too, but why not act now? The longer we delay finding out the truth and punishing the guilty, the more we and our children will suffer. Thank you.